December 20th, Cosmos PS Center. PS Museum. Let's see, where's the exhibit on the launch seven years ago? Right there. There, that's the had one exhibit. Oh wow, look at that photo of the team. Who is that girl on the right? Well, their left, my right. There's Clay, Mr. Starbuck, Director Cosmos, Aura Blackwell, and even Panko. But I've never seen the woman on the right before. Everybody looks so happy. She must have been murdered. Well, except for Director Cosmos. Let's check out the newspaper article, too. Had one launch in a minute, and there's a photo of the Hope Space Pro. I guess it's only natural it doesn't talk about the murder or the sabotage. They really were keeping a secret, just like the director said. Daddy, take a look at that jacket. It must be the Hat One Team's uniform jacket. It's the same design as the one Apollo was wearing, the one that belonged to Clay. Actual jacket worn by Hat One Team member, it says. Not a replica, huh? I wonder if it was Mr. Starbucks. No, I think it was that girl's. Hello. Oh, it's Junie. Oh, Miss Woods, what brings you here? I I heard Dana got arrested, so I I've been looking for you, Miss Wright. I thought you might be here at the scene. You must be so worried, but rest assured, I'm going to do my very best to defend her. Tina's going through such a hard time. I hope she doesn't lose her heart. Even just coming back to this place must have been really difficult for her. Huh? You mean the Cosmo Space Center? What? You didn't know? She used to live here when she was a little girl. Sh she did? No, I didn't know. No wonder she knew so much. Miss Woods, could you tell me more in detail? Let's talk to Junie Woods, Athena in the Space Center. Athena's mom worked here. If I remember right, she was a doctor of psychology or something like that. But why was a psychology specialist working at a space research facility? I don't really know. But I do know that she lived and worked here, so Athena lived here too. So it was far for, from Athena's first time here. I wonder why she didn't mention it. He probably didn't want to talk about it. This place is connected to a very sad memory for her. Sad memory, delve deeper. A sad memory, can you tell me about it? There was a terrible incident here. It was seven years ago. The same time frame as the head one launch. Athena's mom. In the robotics lab, she was murdered. What? What? Oh, oh gosh! I wonder if that was Athena's mom. After it happened, Athena stopped coming to school. Poor Athena, and all this time she never let on at all. I was so worried about her. I came here so many times hoping to see her. I bet you Athena's mom was the one. No, wouldn't that make her too old? Too young? But I never saw her again. Unless she's old in that picture. After a while, we started exchanging letters. But I didn't get to see her face to face for seven long years. Until the first time you'd seen her in seven years was during Pro Professor Corte's case. That's right, I was so surprised. She was like a completely different person. A cheerful, so cheerful and happy. Young Athena. What was Athena like as a child? She was very sensitive and kind. She didn't talk very much. She liked to draw and paint at home. It's completely different from Athena. We know now. I can't even picture it. She never left the space center much because she was very sensitive to other people's emotions. When she went to crowded places, she'd get dizzy from all the emotions flying around. It must be hard to hear people's hearts as well as their voices. She always wore these big, heavy-looking headphones. She said her mother made them for her as part of her research. Huh? I wonder what kind of research it was. Because of her special ability, Athena couldn't handle being in school very often. And I was always out sick because of my weak constitution. Maybe that's why we became such good friends. We used to play together here at the Space Center a lot. It brings back memories. Sounds like Athena's mother played a big role here at the Space Center. Oh, Daddy, show her that picture. Atta girl, good idea.
Miss Woods, could you take a look at this for me? Oh look, there's Tina's mom. The woman on the far right, the one in the kimono, that's Dr. Meta Sykes. Athena's mother's murder. Did it by any chance have any connection to the Hat One launch? What? Why, yes it did. As I recall, it happened on the day before the launch. Just as I suspected. But that wasn't the worst of it. One of my staff members was murdered. Murdered. So this is the murder. Did this is the murder Director Cosmos was talking about? Does that mean that the crime Prosecutor Blackwell was convicted of is the murder of Athena's mother? There's a chance her death is somehow connected to the current case. That there is? Thank you for all your help, Miss Woods. And please, try not to worry. I won't let anything happen to Athena. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I know you'll take good care of her. Bro, let's win this court case. So we need to investigate the robotics lab and also talk to Athena. We've got our plate full, Daddy. I hope we can fit it on before the day is through. The detention center first, then we have to see Athena before visiting hours are over. December 20th. Well, if it isn't Mr. Lawyer, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Detective Fulbright. Here on business? To tell the truth, I'm here to interview Ted Tonate. The one behind the courtroom bombing incident. He suddenly said he's ready to tell the truth about that case. And what he was saying was so incredible, I just had to come right over here to hear more. Incredible? What was he saying? Why don't you hang around and hear it for yourself? Really? Us? Are you sure? Ha ha ha! I give you my special permission. Here comes the bomber now. You, what nerve you have to come here. You're here to laugh at me, I suppose. Like I'd waste my breath on you. After all, you're the one who assaulted Apollo and put him in the hospital. Violence, no. Question, okay. No violence? Too bad Apollo didn't get a chance to say that before you attacked him. I, I. Fine, then just answer me this, Mr. Tony. What is this truth of yours about the courtroom you blew up? No, I didn't do it. I didn't blow up the courtroom. When I killed Detective Army, there was n another person in the room. What? What are you talking about? Who else could have been there? I saw it, I tell you. I saw someone's hand as they were stealing the remote switch. This person was there and witnessed the murder I committed. What? what? I don't know who it was. But that's who blew up the courtroom. You expect us to buy that? Easy there, Trucy. I don't see any Cyclops. So I guess he must not be lying. Pardon me, I got a little carried away. But I'm telling you the truth, I did not detonate that bomb. And there you have it. We can't exactly ignore his claims, of course, so we're doing a follow-up. We're even analyzing the bomb itself, or what's left of it. We haven't found any new facts yet, though. Wow, they've laid it all out piece by piece. Oh, look at all those beautiful little pieces. I, I wish I could have them. Uh-oh, looks like his geek switch has been activated. Phony Fanty Bomb added it. Rum rap, bum rap, rhiny or whatever. Well, I hope you're ready for Prosecutor Blackwell's special brand of questioning. Ah, uh, anything but that. I'm afraid I have to be off now, too. I was just about to question Miss Sykes. You're going to see Athena now? That's right. Oh, did you folks come to see her? Sorry for the trouble, but could you come back later? Well, off I go. Ha, ha, ha. What bad timing. Looks like we'll have to wait until after our question is over to see her. And after we came all this way too. I guess it's back to the space center. Let's go check out the robotics lab, daddy. Alright, sounds like a plan. Robotic lab. Twentieth Cosmos Space Center. Robotics lab. So this is the robotics lab, huh? It looks like it's exactly one floor above the boarding lounge. And where people were directed to evacuate from via the emergency ladder. This is where Athena's mother was killed seven years ago. Speaking of someone who works with robots, or a black wall. Daddy, look over there! 
<gasps> Apollo! So they plan to use this bag to carry the capsule, is that right? Yeah, more or less. Say, why don't we stop talking about the case and have a nice cup of tea instead? Apollo and Aura Blackwell. I wonder what they're talking about. Well, well, come to spoil our fun just when I was enjoying our alone time. Trucy and Mr. Wright. <clears throat> if it's Apollo you want, you can't have him. He said he's investigating on his own. And I respect his wishes. We just came to investigate this lab. Well, this is my lab, so you need my permission if you want to do any snooping. About what happened? I heard about the trial. He made mincemeat out of the director. And suddenly, Starbuck was out and your little subordinate, the princess, was in. Case closed, and they all lived happily ever after. Ha 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 ha! Grrr, daddy, say something to her. And I suppose you're going to defend the princess in court, am I right? The princess, huh? Guess she's talking about Athena. Of course, Athena is innocent! Oh my, such loyalty and trust. She seems pretty suspicious to me, though. The emotionally unstable princess. There's your culprit for you. Don't you agree, Apollo? I... I don't know yet. Apollo, how could you? What's wrong with saying I don't know if it's true? It's a very scientific approach. Your subordinate is more level-headed than you. Or should I say, former subordinate. Ha 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 ha. If I can't believe it, does Apollo really suspect Athena? Phew, all this laughing has worn me out. You turn to say something, hunk of junk? Mr. Terran, you look pale. Shall I help you to the sick bay? Mr. Terran? But that's Apollo you're talking to. Oh, this hunk of junk here is mistaking Apollo for clay. Maybe Apollo is possessed by clay's ghost. Mr. Terran, how are your injuries? Mr. T -t Terran, Mr. T -t -t Terran, how, how are y y your injuries? Mr. T -t Terran, I guess Clay intends to hang around to haunt the princess that murdered him. Oh, and to haunt the lawyer that defends her too, of course. A robot that can see ghosts. Yeah, right. And I'm a spirit medium. Sorry, but apparently scientists just don't tell very frightening ghost stories. I intend to defend Athena, no matter what you have to say about it. How perfectly foolish. That kind of blind belief makes people lose sight of the truth. Just like seven years ago. Seven years ago. Let's talk about that. Could you tell me about the incident seven years ago? Why? Do you enjoy trampling on people's feelings and rubbing salt in their wounds? Or do you just want me to talk? Hmm? In that case, what should I ask for in return? I'd like to hear about that incident, too. I'd help me understand the current case better. Huh? Apollo knows about that case, too? Well, if you're the one who's asking, Apollo, come on, hunk of junk, you tell the story. But, Miss Aura, that's private information. Tss, if you won't talk, I'll just have to make you talk. Gah! God, yes, who cares about personal privacy? Not me. I am ready to utilize my blast processing abilities to impart all available information. Wow, what a magic trick. He's like a completely different robot now. The bodies of all the robots that come through this lab are designed by Miss Aura. I was born seven years ago. Miss Aura was much young, much younger then. Y yikes, better watch what you say if you don't want to get recycled, Clonko. And then our hearts were created by that great genius, Dr. Meta Sykes. Hearts? Robots with hearts? Do you even make such a thing? Emotions are not irrational things. Our logic and our hearts can be integrated. The two navigation companions created by Miss Aura and Dr. Metis transcend humans. Gah! Metis? Huh? She just glanced over at her desk. Nobody could continue Metis' research. She and her work were truly one of a kind. And now the two navigation commanders are all that are left of Metis here on Earth. The robots are all that's left. Isn't she leaving out very important someone? Athena. We built the ultimate creations together, but now she's gone. I get the feeling Dr. Sykes loved her robots almost as much as she loved her daughter. And almost as much as she loved you. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Don't make me laugh. But you lost someone too, didn't you, Apollo? Your friend Clay? I guess you and I are pretty much in the same boat. <sighs> Ms. Aura, would you like a tissue? Keep your trap shut, hunk of junk. Clonko and Panko. Panko! Clonko is an important keepsake of your time with Dr. Sykes. You should treat him better. What does it matter? He doesn't feel pain. I, and I can't. I can always repair his body. Besides, their hearts aren't exact, actually in their bodies. What do you mean by that? The program Metas wrote runs on a separate mainframe. Their bodies are controlled remotely from there. Their hearts and memories are there too. These bodies are really just peripherals. So I can do anything I want to them. I'm not so sure that gives you the right to physically abuse the poor things. But why are you people looking into such an old case now anyway? Well, we believe the culprit of that incident might be the same person as in this case. So daddy's going to find out who killed Dr. Sykes too. I'm sure you're aware of who Metis Killer is. Yes, Prosecutor Blackwell, or so it seems. That's a quaint way of putting it. Are you implying you don't think he did it? I can't say anything for sure right now. But that's exactly why I'd like to hear your side of it, to help me be sure. Dr. Sykes and Simon. I was the one who introduced Simon to Metis, you know. He wanted to learn psychology, he said, to give himself an edge in court. Ah, Prosecutor Blackwell's forte. His infamous power suggestion technique. Exactly, and he was oddly serious about it rather than a teacher-student relation. He treated her more like a, a loyal samurai would treat a sovereign. Huh? He seems more like a lost soul than a dignified samurai to me. He even got along well with that miserable little princess. Why do you call Athena the princess anyway? Well, she is Meta's daughter after all, although she's nothing like her besides. Doesn't the selfish little princess always have lots of white knights hanging around? No, I think I see why Athena didn't say anything when we ran into Aura yesterday. So the corporate behind the two cases could be the same, huh? That settles it then. What does it settle? None of your business. Just forget you heard anything. How long are you people going to hang around here anyway? What? But we came here to take a look around. You think you can just waltz in and ransack a person's lab? Show me a search warrant. Uh, we're not the police, so we don't have one. Then get out. Now, Clonko, show them out. Certainly, Ms. Aura. Ouch! Don't push. My apologies. I'm just following orders. Ah! Uh... 